It's time to go green with Green Leaf Kratom. Shop at GLKUSA.com for a user-friendly experience and the highest quality Kratom products on the market. We source only the finest quality, naturally grown Kratom directly from Indonesia so you know you're getting the best of the best. Our strain guide is the perfect resource to find which strain works best for your body. Incredible savings, secure online shopping, and same-day shipping are just some of the great benefits you can expect when choosing Green Leaf Kratom. Get started today and discover why we're changing how people shop for Kratom. For a limited time, Green Leaf Kratom is giving away a third bottle free for every two bottles of capsules, powders, or flavored shots. Be sure not to miss out. It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Sunday, the 3rd of September. I'm Michael Groff. Hope everyone is enjoying their Labor Day holiday weekend. And around here, conditions drying out and temperatures will eventually start to warm up once again. But in the meantime, we'll see afternoon highs just a little bit below seasonal averages and humidity levels coming down as well. So those overnight low temperatures are going to drop. In fact, they should be about the coolest that we've seen them in several months. All right, let's talk about it here. Here's the almanac from yesterday. 99 degrees the afternoon high. How about that? Another day below 100. The morning low, 80. Averages at 104 and 82. No rain officially in the bucket at Sky Harbor yesterday, although some of you did pick up some rain. As we take a look outside right now here, still pretty early out there, 6.33 a.m. We've got clear sky. We're at 81 degrees at Sky Harbor. It's still humid out there. 66 is the dew point. Relative humidity, 62%. The winds are light. The barometer's steady. The upper-level weather pattern across the nation features a ridge across Texas and a big upper trough along the west coast and moving into the Great Basin. And it is that upper trough that is turning our winds out of the southwest. That is going to sweep the moisture out of here as that system traverses east, passing to the north of Arizona. And ultimately, all that monsoon moisture is going to be gone, and it should stay gone for quite some time. Now, the good news with that trough is it's also going to knock the upper heights down, the ridge down, and that's going to keep temperatures below normal for at least a couple of days. Here's the watch warning map. Now, well, to the north of Arizona, we've got flood watches across parts of the Great Basin up into portions of Idaho and Oregon, Utah. Elsewhere, we've got heat advisories for the upper Midwest and around Minneapolis, St. Paul, they could be pretty close to 100 degrees today. That last gasp of summer up north by later this week and next weekend, temperatures there, at least high temperatures, will be down in the lower to middle 70s. So they're going to start to feel a little bit of a taste of fall there. Convective outlook for today, we've got the standard slight risk of severe storms around Elko, Nevada, extending east toward the western part of the Great Salt Lake, and the marginal risk just barely nudging up against the northwestern corner of Arizona, maybe around uh, Las Vegas up toward St. George, Utah. So that's about as close as the severe storm threat will be today. And maybe a little bit of thunder right along the northern or eastern border of our state, but the drier air is really going to start to come in here, and those humidity levels will ultimately begin to come down as well. Here's a look at precipitation valid through next Sunday morning. Rain amounts in Phoenix, nothing statewide, basically nothing. Yeah, this is starting to look like an early fall pattern. It looks like we are transitioning out of our monsoon season, which barely existed this year. And that is unfortunate. Let's talk about it in more detail as we take a look at the models. Have a look at it. This is the GFS, the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Here's our upper low. Along the west coast, beginning to move east, southwest westerly flow in here. So what it means down at the surface, sunny sky, drier conditions. High temperatures this afternoon, not bad. Upper 90s to about 102. That's just a couple of degrees shy of seasonal averages. Any rain chances should stay generally to the north of Arizona, although a shower or a storm could be possible across the northern part of the state uh, this afternoon. Now for tonight, clear sky. Overnight lows, low 70s to low 80s. Tomorrow, sunny, a little breezy at times for northern Arizona. High temperatures should be around 95 to 100. Again, relative to where we've been, that won't feel too bad. How about that for Labor Day? And then humidity levels are going to be coming down. In fact, by Monday night, Tuesday morning, overnight lows down in the upper 60s in the cooler valley spots, mid to upper 70s in the urban core. High temperatures on Tuesday. Upper 90s to about 101. 
We'll slowly begin to warm it up by Wednesday, having high temperatures uh, coming back uh, just to barely above 100, around 100 to 104. We're going to up to about 102 to 105, 106 by Thursday, 105 to 109 for Friday. And each day the sky's sunny, the air dry. Here's next Saturday. Got a ridge that's building in across the southwest, kind of an elongated ridge extending from West Texas through New Mexico, eastern Arizona. And so that should result in high temperatures anywhere from about 107 to 111. We'll be pushing up toward record high temperatures once again, if that verifies, and model agreement seems to suggest that it will. Here's a week from today. This is Sunday, the 10th of September. Got a tropical system well off the west coast of Baja. We're not going to worry about that. High pressure still in control here. That looks dry and hot. Going out 10 days. This is Tuesday, the 12th. And once again, we're looking dry hot westerly flow around here temperatures may come down a little bit with that ridge sitting to the southwest of us more of a westerly flow the upper heights maybe around 590 591 decameters but still temperatures would be a little bit above average if that's right and absolutely no sign of any monsoon moisture looking at rainfall for phoenix off the gfs ensemble forget about it the ensemble mean is coming down now as we're getting into that fall pattern, under one-tenth of an inch, any hope for any precipitation? Probably not until, well, at least the next couple of weeks go by. And even beyond that, even looking into late September, I think we're going to stay pretty dry. And temperatures off the national blend of models. Going to keep it a little bit below average today, tomorrow into Tuesday, and then warm it up. And by next weekend, yeah, there we go. Back up to around or even, maybe even a little bit above 110 degrees but there are signs that temperatures will start to slide back a little bit beyond that point. So it does look like, though, most of September we'll see readings at or above normal. And that is going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video due back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, then be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. You can also click that little thanks icon if you want to donate to us monetarily that would be greatly appreciated and special thanks to those of you that have including clayton and uh let's see who else here donated yesterday uh gary donated as well so i appreciate both of you guys for donating and if you want to donate again click that thanks icon every dollar helps really do appreciate it so thank you all right the executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of SweetChildAZ.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name. It's called Sweet Child Arizona. I'm talking about my Michelle, so check her out. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching and all of that continued support. Couldn't do it without you. Please be safe. And I'm going to still tell you this, even with temperatures down a bit, stay cool, stay hydrated out there. And it is Labor Day weekend, so yeah, be extra safe. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, unless, of course, you have a lot of fun doing it. And have yourselves a great Sunday.